From courtroom battles, abrupt departures, to turning back on old members. The stories of Nyon, Jenny, and T.O.P. surprisingly share one thing in common, reaching the pinnacle of their careers just to be accused of turning selfish and calculating. On the surface, these cases seem like just another busy day of K-pop, but if you dive deep down, you will see they hold questions deeply related to morality and individual pursuit of happiness, especially in a collectivism society like South Korea. Should one repay the voluntarily help of others, even if it's not legally required? Should the new generation K-pop idols prioritize collectivism deep-rooted in their culture? Or should personal joy be in place? To give you a holistic context for the answers, I have spent a week detailedly researching each case, gathering evidence to fact-check each point, including reading original South Korean outlets, and screening the diverse opinions of netizens to have the most possible holistic view of people. Imagine having a stepfather or stepmother and that person would provide half a million USD to cover all your living expenses and even fund you to chase the biggest dream of your life. Do you consider paying it back when having reached the summit of success? Now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. Well, let me guess your answer and the reason behind it. If your answer is yes, then you're very likely to view it from a moral point of view. But if it's a big no, then the high chance is being you take the legal perspective. Am I correct? So, seemingly you have just picked a side when it comes to the matter of Nyon because this is exactly what she has gone through. Things started when her mother's ex-lover, who would be referred to as Mr. A henceforth, started a lawsuit in January 2023. This actually seems quite weird to me since I don't know how such a contentious lawsuit, which usually makes headlines immediately, wasn't mentioned a bit at the time and only surfaced online most recently. In the lawsuit, Mr. A alleged he had loaned Nyon 600 million KRW prior to her debut, and both her and her mother made a verbal promise to repay the money if she ever debuted. Debuted. And do you know which detail that most international outlets oversaw when reporting this case? Out of that 600 million KRW, around 116 million were a credit loan Nyon and her mother actively made under Mr. A's name. However, the rest went to living expenses, the money of which most probably Mr. A also used with Nyon and her mother. Most recently, on September 19, Nyon was ruled winning the case and no obligated money must be paid back. But as she was painted out as an ungrateful traitor by her mother's ex-boyfriend, the worst scenario seems to have just begun. While some believed Mr. A was being petty for voluntarily providing the money, then asked for it back when seeing Nyon's successes, others criticized Nyon of lacking ordinary decency and moral responsibilities to the man who had basically funded her baby steps to the historic career. Because I don't want to sound biased, and most importantly, we as outsiders don't know so much. I have done some research to gauge the reaction of people. First, k seemingly believed Nyon's image was somehow muddled. Almost all of them agree that even Mr. A wasn't a mere lover, but already in a de facto marriage with Nyon's mother. Nyon should still share responsibilities to repay the money as 600 million KRW over 12 years, translated to a whopping amount of $38,000 a month. Of course, it's not her obligation, but more about her morality, which also contradicts JYP Entertainment's claim that they value integrity most in their idols. The intention of Mr. A lawsuit was also heatedly discussed as netizens believed he didn't want his money back through this lawsuit. Rather, it was Nyon and her mother's ungratefulness that prompted him to take the legal action. You see this part of the comment? That literally summarizes the opinions of many K-Nuts about Nyon's situation. However, many, especially international fans, chose to side with Nyon and criticize Mr. A for being petty and jealous. First, that amount of money wasn't solely used by Nyon, but rather by her mother and him as their living expenses. I need that money. I missed the part where that's my problem. Second, when he made that financial decision, he was simply playing the father figure for an eight-year-old kid, as many fathers would do. So it made no sense that he would opt for legal actions to ask for the money that he willingly provided. But the most unreasonable point is that that time frame from 2009 to 2015 meant he transferred the money even before Nyon auditioned. That was not to mention how Nyon's mother was also against her idol dream. So how could the promise Nyon made even made sense? Still, as we are all outsiders and we don't know that much, I believe it's best to remain neutral. 
This comment also sums up well the reaction we should hold as rational morals. Such a mind-boggling case, isn't it? But the escalation only goes up from now on, so as Espa said, hold on tight. Why did Jeannie leave Enmix? Looking at the way Enmix's lineup is arranged and the members' appearance in their debut showcase, who do you think is the center? Exactly, it's Jenny, the only girl in pink blonde standing in the middle. And FYI, she did the opening and the pre-ending highlight of Enmix's debut song. If you look at that, have you ever thought she would leave the group one day, especially just seven months after Enmix's debut? Of course not. But the real matter is that, as this departure was so abrupt her time under Enmix was so short, accompanied with the way she quickly opened a personal Instagram account and has recently even announced a solo debut in October 10, people are starting to question if it was a quest for individual stardom or a sign of internal turmoil within JYP Entertainment. Before continuing, I want to emphasize that, as JYP Entertainment has the rule to never reveal the reasons of their artist's departure, even when wrongdoings were committed, for the sake of their future's career outside the company, it's impossible to tell if Ginny really left because she wanted to shine individually, as people speculated. However, considering her announcement to debut solo just about a year and a half after leaving Enmix, some couldn't help but see her as a traitor of JYP Entertainment's efforts, especially as they had pushed her most in the debut phase to be the fan attractor but she ended up leaving the group when they needed her the most. On the coup, reactions to Jenny's solo debut was heavily polarized with one side sarcastically mocking her for being ungrateful and calculating, leaving the group just to shine individually while another wholeheartedly supporting Jenny on her new path. Why calculating? Well, let's take a look at this. Basically, whenever Enmix released something new, netizens noticed Jenny also updated her online presence. Especially for the Instagram Live, she was also seen going live right after Enmix released their MV, Roller Coaster. You want to know how much triggered fans were? See this comment. Of course it's Korean and not everyone understands, but considering how this long rant was all about criticizing Jenny's move, you can see the utmost discontent. And FYI, this person is accusing her of being ungrateful and disrespectful, looking down on fans for not being transparent about the shocking departure, but simultaneously coming back and seeking support for her new activities. So, what do you think? Was Jenny's exit a masterstroke for her solo ambitions? Or was it a sign that Enmix really has unsolvable internal hiccups? I'm really eager to know your opinion. Oh, and also, if you like the content, drop me a like, so because I really need a positive note for such a dark video like this. Now, let's continue. <laughs> Big Bang, his fans divided. Top is leaving Big Bang and working on a solo album. T.O.P. has confirmed that he has indeed left Big Bang since last year. Big Bang's T.O.P. has parted ways with YG too. For years, T.O.P. has been famous as one of the most unique personas for always looking like living in his own bubble, rather than connecting with the world, explaining several odd decisions made throughout his life. However, never once have people thought he would choose to completely cut ties with Big Bang and worse, did it in a way that cut deep into the hearts of both the members and fans. Initially announcing that he would continue being a part of Big Bang despite the departure from YG Entertainment, T.O.P. quickly took everyone aback by confirming on his Instagram that he was no longer a group member and had been focusing on personal growth, including his solo debut and most surprisingly, a trip to the outer space as hinted in Big Bang's last MV, Still Life. After rummaging the whole internet up to get a comprehensive view of fans toward this matter, it seems to me that they were utterly upset as despite years supporting both him and the group, they couldn't even get a formal announcement about his departure. Instead, they could only learn about Big Bang's continuing as a three-member group through an Instagram comment. And then, this happened. 
The situation only escalated as besides blurring out Big Bang from his name whenever they appeared together, fans also noticed that he had blocked GD on Instagram as well. How did they know? Well, it's because fans saw T.O.P. and G.D. no longer followed each other, and most importantly, all the interactions of G.D. on T.O.P.'s account disappeared. Looking at everything T.O.P. did, many didn't hesitate to call him an ungrateful traitor that held no gratitude toward the members and fans, both of whom have helped him get where he is today. Others criticized how his mental age never seems to mature considering the obnoxious way he cut ties with everyone, especially GD, whom he has known and worked on multiple duo projects with over 20 years. But hey, let's get real for a second that the situation is far more nuanced than it appears. T.O.P.'s departure and subsequent social media actions could be a result of various factors, including personal, professional, or even contractual obligations that we are not aware of especially with the speculation surrounding the blocking incident. While keen-eyed netizens pointed out signs that sounded legit, nothing has been officially confirmed. This adds an element of uncertainty to the situation. But sadly, one thing remains certain. Big Bang's Still Life is the very last song we can see as a four-member group. As the song sings, it's time to say goodbye to our beautiful spring, summer, fall, winter of the good old days. If you're interested in more videos like this, you can check out this one. I've talked about the controversial departure of K-pop idols. Also, hit that subscribe button for more insightful K-pop discussion. Thank you for staying and see you next time.